what we're doing the first day sailing. Painting. Just a couple of bits of undercoat. And look at the deck. It's slowly, surely. And I'm cleaning up a little bit too. And um, we're going about, about four to five knots. There's GPS. Steady wind. So I think if the winds don't shift and it stays like this, we'll go all the way to Magnetic Island like this. May seem trivial out at sea. Nice running waves going with it. Five knot breeze. And our first meal together at sea. Uh, it's smoked cod and a salad. Lots of yummy veggies, which we love. So, bon appetit. Look at all the birds. That means there's fish in the water. It's a feeding frenzy. But they're moving away. Look at how luxurious tack is. We have a dishwasher. Automatic dishwasher. You think see the water which went into the waves. A tumbling. Uh, let's wait. Uh, I'll edit mostly. This one. Ah. Right, next Let's start one. a new video. Okay, this one. There we go. Ah. <laughs> now the next one. Okay. Sometimes. Oh, uh, hardly. Uh, what happened? When I came out, I had a big scoop. Well, you get the picture. Our first sunset on Sailing Vessel Tech. Beginning of our journey. Oh, you have to do this. <laughs> Stop. You, you have longer arms. Sorry. Our first sunset on Sailing Vessel Tech on our adventure. Oh, duh. Go, like, turn around. So we... <laughs> And just walk backwards a bit. Yeah, long arms. Raw footage. And when I mean raw, very raw. <laughs> right. I like, I'm real, I'm raw, and I'm raunchy because, you know, I'm a real person. Oh, are you still filming? Oh. Sunset. It looks like a giant pumpkin because it's Halloween this month. Ooh, I'm losing my balance because I'm a trampoline. Should I do close? Oh yeah, the close-up is awesome. So I live for these moments in nature. Oh, you can't see how brilliant the orange is. Ah! Oh, it's going down. Beautiful. It's like a big glowing pumpkin. A pumpkin sunset. different in real life and looking through the camera. You can't capture the brilliant orange. Different variations of orange juice. Oh, it's oh you see the green flash? I, it seems hazy to me. the ship way off in the distance. Sunrise nearly on its way. Five knot breeze. Probably only a half a meter swell. Okay, well I did not get the camera first up, I decided to keep this guy hooked by maintaining tension on the line. 
um, more than that, so it's good for tuna. And we'll, uh, for those humane people, you've been brained real quick. So we'll fill him up and have some fresh, fresh fish for uh, mid-morning breakfast. It took about 10 minutes of trawling. Out in the middle of the um, opposite of Thunberg. I know if you look at the map, see where we're at exactly by now. We're very becalmed. We're going like two and a half knots, too. But remember when I made the poke bowl? There it is. That's the finished product. I plate it with rice, raw, tuna, the marinade I talked about earlier, and fresh green onions. And I put um, wasabi in. Leaving Magnetic Island, so I'm watching for fairies. So this is the entrance. There's a beachy area. Easy little anchorage. Uh, no anchorage, but um, Nelson Bay. So red, red right returning, green to the left. So we're just watching for fairies. Oh, there's one coming in. Did you see? One coming in. So, fairy, so we just gotta keep to the right, they keep to the left, and that's good. Because, um, yeah, anyways. Dugan protected area with the yellow buoys. So basically the ferry is just waiting for us. It's sort of narrow. Going around the corner. I don't think we're going to see any dugons, but we might get lucky. So I'm going to leave the camera on. Going around. Oh, more yellow buoys. Dugon protected area. Awesome. So I bet tonight, dusk, we might see dugons. Guess I have to do selfie. I'm out on the bow. Someone said we can anchor here, but isn't yellow Dugon protected area? So we're gonna go closer. But it looks like a mooring ball. So I'm just gonna switch this around. Pretty! That looks like a mooring ball to me. in search of dugons. It's approaching dusk. And this is a dugon protected area. Sorry for the wind generator. I think that's a dugon viewing area. The sun already went down. So we just have to be vigilant and hope for the best.
I'm giving birth to Dave because I'm like, look at my um, thighs or whatever you say. It's a crotch. Huh? Crotch. It's not crotch, it's just my thighs. I'm giving birth to Dave. You can see her. Her favorite thing to do is come to show and play with the kids all day. And he even um, made a platform for her and she swims back, she climbs onto the boat.
a whale. Let's wait until. Oh, you see the ripple? Ooh, blowing! Woo! I don't know what, what kind of whale is that. A humpback. Wow. Come on, humpback, jump.
I'm giving birth today because I'm like, look at my um, thighs or whatever you say. It's a crotch. Huh? Crotch. It's not crotch, it's just my thighs. I'm giving birth today. You can see her. Her favorite thing to do is come to show and play with the kids all day. And he even um, made a platform for her and she swims back, she climbs onto the boat.
mom just spotted it a whale. Let's wait until. <gasps> you see the ripple? <gasps> Ooh, blowing! Woo! I don't know what, what kind of whale is that. It's a humpback. A humpback. Wow. <gasps>
subscribe to Gypsy Hobo on YouTube about my Gypsy Hobo ways. So, um, I've always had Gypsy Christine for my um, email. And my first boat was named Gypsy Cat. So it both matched. It would um, joke that not only am I Gypsy, I'm a total hobo. So I like to hitchhike. I like to save money when traveling and um, camp without a tent and sleeping bag. So they started calling me a Gypsy Hobo. So it's sort of like a cute joke between us. But literally now, a lot of people call me hobo, my hobo ways, because when I travel lots and lots of places, I'm on a very limited budget as I've been traveling for 12 years and I haven't really worked. I did some online editing, writing, um, editing, oh, um, and a few seasons in St. Martin as a bartender. So not a lot of work, but I've been able to manage my traveling and travels sailing with a very limited budget but right now since I'm dating Paul my budget went up a little bit because he pays for most of the food and everything that has to do with his boat because it's his boat maintenance and everything so right now we live on a very limited budget um, I can't even say how much because not on top of my head and most of these videos we don't plan and um, I just visited my dad I talk so loud most of the time and all the time because I love meeting people and connecting to them. So with bonding with my new family, my dad just got remarried in February. So I'm still getting to know my stepsisters. I have two much younger, like at least 20 years younger, and a stepbrother. I won't say who they are because they want to remain anonymous. So I went up for my... Um, stepsister's wedding in San Jose so of course at a wedding open bar I'm talking to lots and lots of people so over the weekend and the week I lost my voice so right now it's still scratchy so going back to the limited budget so after traveling for about 12 years now 13 years with different relationships and that's a, another long story my videos are all about the reality of traveling. As a female traveler by myself for many years, three years, and in relationships on a boat, um, trying to save money and trying to continue living my dream of traveling and sailing around the world. And I've managed to do most of that and I'm happy to do that. So, and I'm happy to share videos um, of my travels and my sailing. But if you want someone that looks good all the time, that's wearing makeup, that's not for you. This channel is not for you because look at me. Because look at this. Being in the Philippines, me and Paul were drinking maybe three to six beers a night for happy hour or rum. So, self indulgent La Vida de Dolce. So yeah, I'm not embarrassed because everyone has roles and even the really good looking people, eventually they get older, they start eating too much. That's what happens in life. So I like to portray the realities of just what I look like most of the time because on a boat, I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not brushing my hair, I'm not wearing sunblock, I'm like a total hobo, see hobo. My maintenance is very little with how I look. Um, how I act. I'm very easygoing, carefree, and my outlook in life is be you. Don't try to fall, um, don't compare yourself to anybody else because there will be someone prettier, skinnier, with more money on and on. So with my life, I try to end my videos. I, I'm just me. Um, you get me probably unfiltered raw but not too raw because YouTube censorship so I like to um, just show who I am what I look like all the time because I also do um, photography and I'm pretty photogenic from what I've been complimented so 
a lot of people when they see me in real life they're like oh even my helper he goes oh you look different in pictures and videos because that's what my hobby and passion is, um, are, not videos. Another beautiful black sand beach in Papite, Tahiti, outside the Radisson Hotel. I'm going to be meeting our friend. Um, I'm in Tahiti with Slim. You can do the wraparound. That's okay. I'm going to do pictures. We're making a movie and it's working.
subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe.